The eggs are called pesamke, which is from the Ukrainian word to pesate, which means to write. And in actual fact, what you're doing is scribing and writing on an egg. I began doing the eggs when I was a little boy. I used to watch my mother as she used to prepare eggs for Easter. And beginning with her preparation, I used to just play with the wax and the stylus and the candle and the dyes. The tradition of the egg began prior to Christian times. It was a pagan custom actually with the coming of spring. With the dawn of Christianity, the eggs took on a different meaning. And one of the symbols, of course, is the pussy willow, which in pagan times would be depicted on the egg as one of the pagan symbols. In the Christian tradition, it's the first tree that blooms in the spring. Therefore, it's a prefigurement of what is to come a week later, the resurrection of Christ, the beginning of a life within Christ. And then the dots on this egg symbolize the tears of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It's said that when Pilate was trying Jesus, the Blessed Virgin went to plead for his life and had a whole load of eggs in her apron. While pleading and crying, the tears fell on the eggs and they were the first pisanke that were decorated. And to this present day, dots on the egg symbolize tears of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Well, this is an interesting egg because it's very difficult to do. It's divided into three, three different almost porticos doors. This is a quail egg, the, the symbol of eternity, the horizontal line there and vertical lines with no beginning, no end. And of course the cross here, which will be completed in its various forms. Ostrich and rear eggs. The real eggs? Oh yeah, the real eggs. I'll leave them down here anyway you may want to. These are to do at some point. <laughs> some point. Then I have some finch eggs as well. I've got tiny finch eggs. These eggs of eggshells are very, very brittle. This is the smallest egg I've ever done. And before beginning, normally one would say a prayer. One would bless oneself and say, Bože, pomože i blahoslove. O Lord, bless and help. A pencil helps to get things in perspective. And for all practical purposes, I'm going to do a star. And as soon as the kiskar is hot, you scoop up the wax. And this is beeswax. Our kiskar begin to scribe around the egg. Then heat once again, but you have to work quickly. Ready for the dye. So we've immersed it in the dye now. It's ready. It's a nice yellow. We now take it into a paper towel and pat it dry. And what I'm scribing on here is the pussy willow. So you've already seen the transformation of this egg now. You see, you begin to see the design coming through now. What we've done in white, in yellow, and now we have orange. The wax seals the color in. This is almost ready for the final colour, which is always a dark colour to allow a dark background. Sometimes the royal blue can turn the dark red into a nice brown colour. It's already going to a brick colour. This is now the finished egg. We pat it dry, leave it to dry for about an hour thoroughly, and then begin to remove the wax. We're now melting the wax off so we can see the design, the imprint underneath. And you see all the colors we used are all now coming through. And this egg is finished.
the eggs really are about me. The designs, the color, the thoughts. I express myself in the work I do. It's inspiring. I get an enormous amount of pleasure. I find it rewarding. I may enjoy the fact that other people enjoy what I'm doing. And I get a lot of joy out of this.